Okay, ready? Wow. Oh, wow. I felt like, oh no. I, oh my god. Yeah, okay. I, I messed up. Oh no, I messed up. Okay, next shelving. Almost there. <sighs> Can you stay? Stay. Stay. Come on. Okay. Hi guys, my name is Jesslyn and welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to bring you my very, very, very first bookshelf tour. Now, I'm going to put out a disclaimer right off the bat that if you are looking for a very clean, very pretty, very aesthetic bookshelf, you're not going to get it over here. <laughs> you picked on the wrong video. I am going to tell you about my whole history of my bookshelves. Now, why am I giving you a whole history of my bookshelf before giving you the bookshelf tour? Well, the background story is enough context for me to make sense when I am giving you the tour. So bear with me because it's going to be a long video. Pick up your tea, pick up your popcorn because you're going on this whole adventure with me. Well, it's actually not an adventure because it's just me talking but you know we're, we're, we're getting to know each other okay this bookshelf right here that you see behind me is actually my very first bookshelf and i feel like i need to start at the very beginning which will explain the reason to why i'm doing this bookshelf tour <sighs> okay let's just start let's let's get comfy i'm gonna grab my pillow where's my pillow pillow is here if you're an old time viewer you would know this so grab your favorite pillow, grab your favorite snack, and we are going to start. So starting off, I actually did not have a proper bookshelf when I was growing up. Mostly because I wasn't a reader, mostly because I did not collect books. When I started to get into reading, I actually started collecting and buying books. I always kept the books at a shelf beside my bed, and if you can see right here, my room has a lot of this indentation where if we were to put the bed along this wall, there will be space below. So my father built a shelving to be placed beside my bed. That became the first home for the very first few books that I got. And the number of books that I had started to grow and it actually looked like a small little collection of books beside my bed. So at a point in time, this appeared at my house. This is a hand-me-down by someone I do not remember. And the moment that I saw these bookshelves, that was when I knew that I wanted that to be the home next for my books. So I actually had two of these shelves. I'm gonna put a screenshot of how the shelves look side by side with the books on it and that was when my book collection was really early on and the books didn't really fill up the entire bookshelf so shortly after that I started to really buy a lot more books and I actually did a birthday book haul I filmed that video until now I have not edited that video it's still in my laptop I will find time to edit it and post it as fast as I can. That slowly turned into when I started to go into my reading slump. Fast forwarding to 2020, for the first time in 20 years, ever since I moved in, I reorganized my room for the very first time. It actually took two reorganizations but I finally figured out a layout that I like in my room because I have a good workspace and this is kind of like my chill area. Oh my god, this video is starting to become messy because it's not in proper order of events that happened. Going back to before I reorganized my room, this shelving was over there if you can see over there this is a second shelving so it was originally supposed to be on the ground i'm gonna just put you back right here and this was originally in a portrait kind of layout from portrait we tilted here so it actually is like this currently you can see. Also another one thing about my room is that I've always had hand-me-downs so a lot of the furniture since young that I have in my room is second-hand. As I was growing up my parents actually bought new furniture to actually be put into my room the, but the reason why I'm doing this video finally 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 is I am finally going to get my first ever bookshelf that I 
purchase so it will be suitable to what I picture in my brain for how I want my room to be. I get so jealous whenever I see all the booktubers having such a pretty bookshelf and I never was able to be so proud <laughs> of my room. So my family has purchased the bookshelves that I want. I pick the design, I pick the, the, the wood color so it matches everything else. That is ordered and that is going to be shipped up soon. So other than the reason that I'm getting new bookshelves, I'm making this video mostly because I want to document this. I want this to be something that I can look back. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> probably you didn't expect to click on this video and hear my entire book shelf history but i guess it's something that i want to share with you i am finally going to go to the bookshelf part of the video this is my bookshelf i'm gonna let you see hello kind of like oh darling come on why are you not stay 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 why oh no you're not staying this is my bookshelf i'm gonna move out i have a little bit of organization when we were pushing the books to this shelving. When we shifted the shelving here, all the books that I had on two shelving was just crammed to one bookshelf. I did organize them in very big main categories. So, I am going to finally show you the bookshelf tour. Okay, so overview of my bookshelf. So, they have one, two, three four five six six parts of the bookshelf i'm gonna tell you more as i zoom you in so the bookshelf itself is a mess okay this shelving is mostly my hardcover contemporary books it has a little bit of fantasy honestly i think this whole shelf i've not read it's gonna be very honest first book is the luna chronicle books this is by marissa maya and i think i got these two books second hand i got this for actually a very good deal the timing that i got this the series was so hyped up on booktube this was before winter came out winter is the last book in this series i'm not gonna try to tell you <laughs> the synopsis of the book because honestly some of them is five years since i've read the synopsis and i'm gonna butcher them if i try to explain them okay next one is a series that everybody know or at least everybody know the first book it is to all the boys trilogy and this one was another series that was very popular this is contemporary really enough contemporary series isn't as popular on booktube at that time compared to fantasy or dystopian so everybody knows about this book this was turned into a netflix movie this blew up on booktube and then it blew up all over the rest of the world this is the second book oh yeah this is by jenny han i might i always forget to say the author's name if i forget to say the author's name please excuse me again this is by jenny han and this is ps i still love you this one recently was released as a movie again i'm not sure if they're gonna do the third book but most probably because it's been such a huge hit so yeah uh, all the books on this shelf i did not read so yeet next one is when dimple meet Richie. this was another book that was again popular on booktube next one is one of us is lying by perrin mcmanus oh my god did i forget to say this book i forget to say the author's name i I'm, I'm scared that i might butcher her name so this is her name next one is one of us is lying by karen m mcman mcmanus this was i think talked about a little bit on booktube at that time i saw it in christine's video and i decided to pick it up because i love how the synopsis is but i tried reading this book i think once but it was during my reading slump i did not pass page five so yeah next one is eliza and her monsters by francesca zapia i hope i'm saying that correctly this is another book that when it was released it was so hyped up on booktube i'm not gonna try to say the synopsis because i'm gonna butcher it next one is the gentleman's guide to vice and virtue this is by mackenzie lee i think i heard about this book on jesse's channel yes next one is a favorite by a lot of people the sun is also a star by nikola yoon this one was turned into a netflix movie if i'm not wrong this is another book that i have not read i am probably gonna read this soon because i want to check out the movie also next one is all the bright places by jennifer N N neven i hope i'm saying that correctly again i love this cover though and the cover actually feels 
like matte and satin and glossy on certain parts last one is because you love to hate me and this is by a few authors i think the number one reason why i got this was because of the collaboration of the booktubers you can see the booktubers name at the back actually if you want to know who are the top booktubers in 2015 you just look at the back because these people right here are the booktubers that everybody was watching at the time okay so that is the first shelf we're gonna go into this shelving which is a little bit congested this shelving is more love because it's consists of the majority of the books that i've read already first one the mortal instrument series by cassandra Clare. first book is city of bones and this is paperback oh i still have wow oh wow i thought like, oh no I, oh my god Second book, City of Ashes. I don't have the third book because the timing that I got into this was my neighbor introduced me to this series so she lent me her books. The fourth book, City of Fallen Angels. This was a gift from my neighbor. I even have a note that she left me and weirdly enough, I could not get into this book. I mentioned a bit about this in my tier ranking video if you want to check it out. This is in paperback mostly because I wanted to buy them ASAP so I got that at my physical bookstore covers unpopular here i had a dilemma when i wanted to get the next book oh this one is my favorite book one because it was a birthday note from my boyfriend <laughs> Next book is City of Lost Souls and this is my first hardcover that I knew I wanted to get and I actually contemplated so much because I already have three of the books in paperback because guys it looks so nice look it's so nice like you can out <laughs> An Ember in the Ashes by Sabar Tahir I hope I'm saying that correctly this one was another series that was popular on booktube and I honestly forget the synopsis I'm not gonna try to explain it <laughs> This is the second book in the series. This is A Torch Against the Night by the same author. Next one is the Never Fade series. Is it Never Fade series? Oh no, The Darkest Mind. This is by Alexandra Bracken. And I remember when this book released, a lot of people... Wait, is this the first book? Yeah, oh no. Oops, I think this is the first book. Yeah, okay, I, I messed up. Oh no, I messed up. This is the first book and Christine talked a lot about this book. So when the second book came out, this got a lot of attention on booktube. So behind here, this one is one of my oldest paper books. You can see how, how, how brown they are. This one I think was one of the earliest series that I finished. First book is The Maze Runner. This series by James Dashner and this actually got turned into a movie. This is the first book. This is the second book that's called Strauss. The third book is The Death Cure. If you're wondering why it's so reflective, it's because I used to always wrap my book in plastic. That's something that my mom always do to all my books. And the last book, Kill or the They have another book that was published a few years later. So, next book is 4 by Veronica Roth and this is the fourth book in the Diversion series. This right here is the box set that is technically my second copy of the Diversion series. If you can see up here. This was actually my first copy of the Diversion series. I love hardcover books. I saw this for a super good deal. First book is Diversion by Veronica Roth. This got turned into a movie. Second book, Insurgent by Veronica Roth. Third book is A Legion by Veronica Roth. This book is... I just want to throw it away. The ending sucked. <sighs> the whole series had so much potential but they just did the movie like that. This is the fourth book. It was told from Paul's point of view. Paul is the main male protagonist in this series. Moving on. Ooh. It's The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. Now this, just look at the book cover. Look, guys, look. This is the first book, Clockwork Angel, in The Infernal Devices. The second book is Clockwork Prince. And the third book is Clockwork Princess. The three books here, the cover, are the three main characters. I'm gonna put it back. Okay, done. We're gonna move up. So right here, I'll try to bring you up a little bit. This next shelf is considered my contemporary slash rainbow rower shelf. I marathon through her books and I have 
all the books over here reviewed on my channel except for carry on i'm gonna start with this this is the four in our stars by john green this is the collector's edition i remember i got this book way before i was on booktube the next book is crazy rich asian by kevin kwan everybody know about this show everybody know about this book because it got turned into a movie and actually i think i should review this because the country is set is singapore i'm for singapore he grew up in singapore and i yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna read this and review everything next one is carry on if you're wondering why i have two covers of carry on i pre-ordered this book to get it in time when it was released but then it took so long to get to me i went to email book depository on oh, where is the book they sent out a second copy a few days later the first copy arrived and afterwards the second copy arrived yep this was the one that i read i even still have the annotated this one is Eleanor and Park. If you've seen any of my other videos, I've probably mentioned this book every other second. Probably people that subscribe to me is like bored of me talking about this book. Next one is Landline by Rainbow Rowell. Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. And the last book is Fangirl. This one at that time is basically everybody's favorite contemporary book. If you were in booktube in 2015, you know about Fangirl, okay? We're gonna move on to the next shelf. Alright, next shelving. This one right here basically is like all the other extras that I don't know where to put. So they are just here. First one right here Magnus Chase by Rick Riordan I think this was a time where I wanted to get into Percy Jackson this was on offer so I got this and I told myself I wanted to get the other Percy Jackson books but then I never got the Percy Jackson books I know this is gonna be turned into a TV show so I am going to try to catch up on that but I think Percy Jackson is another one of those series that I don't even know where to start. I probably am going to educate myself about the Percy Jackson. So maybe that will be in the works in the future. Next one is The Love Interest. This one was mentioned, I think, in Christine's video at one point in time. Yeah. Next book is... <sighs> this book is... I'm just going to say it out. I hate this book so much. I, I think this is going to be one of the last book on my TBR pile that I'm going to finish. If you want... <sighs> I, I'm, I'm not even gonna explain because I probably would do a book review on it and probably just say all my words then. So I'm gonna go to the next book. This book right here, this actually, oh this is actually the first book that was gifted to me as a friend. No. Was it? <laughs> This was given to me by a friend and I think she was one of the only people that knew that I really like reading. I till now have not opened this but it seems like an interesting book but <laughs> I just haven't picked it up. Okay, next book. You know this. This is The Hunger Game. And actually, this is one of the first books that I got and I read. Next one is Twilight. I remember, I remember how much I got this book for. This is for dollars i got this at like a book sale at an atrium of a mall and this was sold for four dollars but yet i have not read it <laughs> i know midnight sign is coming out i have pre-ordered it and i am probably going to read the series before midnight sign is out so yeah next is the divergent series which i'm not gonna show you because i've already did next one is milk and honey by rupee car i don't know how to pronounce the name excuse me i'm gonna move on Oh, this one is actually my brother's book and I think he just passed it to me because I have a bookshelf. The next one is another one of my brother's book and this is, I'm not too sure what this is. Uh, yeah, but I only know that this was in my bookshelf now. I'll pick this up soon, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. The last book on this shelf is Chicken Soup for the Soul. This is a legendary book. Everybody knows about Chicken Soup from where I'm from. This was given to me as a present because I got top in cohort or top in class if I'm not wrong. And this was signed by my principal. So if you can see, I think this was the book that I always brought to school because we always had to read in the morning. Okay, next shelving. Almost there. <sighs> This is just a headpiece, okay? I'm just gonna wear it. <laughs> I got this when I was in Philippines and I didn't know where to place it, so it's on my bookshelf. Oh my god, it's so dusty. This is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I'm not gonna talk about this book because I think everybody knows it. 
Oh, this book I actually got. This is written by a Singaporean author and is the author's take on the Harry Potter series. But it is Harry's Bean Potter, which is a Malay uh, Harry Potter in a sense. I saw this book on Carousel and I was like, oh, seems interesting. Next one is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. It was like really talked about in the past. This is written by Benjamin L. You know what? I'm not I'm not gonna say the name. It's, it's here. Okay, it's here. Next one is Dumplin. Oh my god, I, I got this when I was in Malaysia and because I wanted to like get a book as I'm overseas but then um I never <laughs> opened it up okay you know what I am going to open it up you're getting kind of like additional content from mommy owl yo this is hard okay okay I feel like a princess too oh. <laughs> ow okay ready was I too rough Okay, wow. Oh, I'm glad that this doesn't look old because it looks still new. It smells new. Oh my god. I think this I got this three years ago. It was when I did not want to admit that I have a reading slum and was still purchasing books. Moving to next book, The Upside of Unrequited. Did I say the name correctly? I feel like I said the name wrongly. But okay, I'm just gonna show you the cover. This is by Becky L. Bertelli. And this is another one of those books that is very talked about on booktube at a time. I'm kind of like stressed about how many books I have that I've not read. But you know, we're just gonna go with the flow. You know, we're just gonna go with the flow. Let's just see. You know, there's no rush when it comes to reading. Next one is everything and ev Is it everything and everything? Everything, everything. Everything, everything. Did I have? Did I already have this book? Oh no! This was written the same author with this. Oh. oh my god! I should have gotten this in hardcover though. Then this will look so nice together. <gasps> Yo! Oh my god! I'm so sad. <laughs> Can it hardcover? I just realized it now. Next one is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This guy's is a masterpiece. Okay, I'm not gonna explain this book. Nobody knows how to explain this book. This was one of the books that I think is like one of the best books that has been released. It's only like 200 pages and it's only 225 pages. Let's pick it up and it's so dusty. Oh my god, my whole bed's gonna be like full of dust. Next one is The Infamous 13 Reasons Why by G. Asher. I'm not gonna explain this book because everybody knows about this. If you do not know, where have you been? Okay, this has been a Netflix series and it has just been renewed to a new season. I don't know why. If I Stay by Gail Foreman. This was another book that I got when I started getting into booktube and I honestly did not finish this even though I know this has been turned into a movie. I do not think this book is good. Um, I'm gonna move on before I get slaughtered. Next two books is Just One Day and Just One Year by Gail Foreman. Really enough, I bought so long ago but yet have not read it and I'm gonna move on before I feel guilty. The last book... <laughs> This is a legend for me because this is the one book that I bought and I just had in my bag for like a full year. This is A Valentine's Kiss by Lucy Hart. Yeah, this is super old. Oh my god. But just look how, just look how brown it is. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Last, last one, last one. Last. The last part of my shelf is the one, the only Harry Potter. That was intense. Okay. Alright, so that was my bookshelf tour. It was a journey. Okay, guys, a journey. <laughs> So I am definitely excited for my new bookshelf to arrive and then I can update you guys on how my new bookshelf is but up till then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and if you want to see more of my face, you can subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! Oh my god, oh my back!